Let's add a couple partials to our views to make sure that styles and scripts come through for all of our different views. We'll take a look at a couple different ways that Blade lets us pass in styles and scripts through our views. Now for the base style sheet, we're going to use Bootstrap, and then we're going to be able to pass in styles and scripts from different views. In our partials, create a new file called styles.blade.php and also a scripts.blade.php. We'll maneuver around our new layout, and instead of including styles in the partials head, we'll include it right below partials head for partials.styles. And we'll also do the same for scripts down here. We'll add the blade comment for CSS here as well. We need to remove the styles from our head.blade. So now head.blade is made sure that it's only meta tags and things for our application. Here's our custom styles and we'll also bring in bootstrap here. Go into cdnjs.com. We'll pull in bootstrap. Let's call in 3.3.6 and we'll do the base bootstrap minified. Copy that, add it to styles. We'll also pull in jQuery and Bootstrap, JavaScript. Here's the Bootstrap minified version. We'll add that to scripts. And Bootstrap requires jQuery, so let's go get that. Now we have the base styles and the base JavaScript files for our application. You can see that the bootstrap styles took. If we inspect element, we're showing that on the body, bootstrap gets pulled in. And on our console, it looks like we used a version that of jQuery that was a little too high. Let's go back. We'll change the version down to 2.2.4. Copy that and paste that in. Now we will talk about a little bit of how we can use styles and scripts coming from our different views and passed into our main layout. Now the way we can do this is a thing called stacks. We'll create a stack here called styles and we'll create a stack here called scripts. Now those don't do anything on their own but they do give us a section to add styles and scripts from our various view files. For instance, if we want to create a slider on the home page and just the home page, we are going to want to bring in slick slider, which is one of my favorite sliders. And it's very easy to use. Back in CDN.js, let's search for that library, slick, slick carousel. We're going to pull in the CSS for that, minified, pass that through. Now we don't want to put this in styles.blade.php since that gets used across the board. Where we want to place this is on the home page, since this is where it's going to be used. How do we do that? We can push to that stack we just created, pass in the style sheet that we just grabbed. We also need to push in the scripts and let's go grab the script tag for that. Perfect. So now just our homepage will bring in this style sheet and this JavaScript file for slick slider. Refresh that here. Let's inspect. If we look under the head, which is where we put our stack for styles. We can see the slick slider is here. And if we look right underneath the footer, we'll see that slick carousel is also here for the JavaScript since we pushed to the style stack and we pushed to the script stack. Visit the about page, inspect element. In the head, you'll see that there is no slick slider here since we didn't pass it through and it's just on the home page. Last thing, we'll use slick slider. 
go into your home page. Let's encompass our user boxes in a class called user box container. And this gives Slick Slider a container to work with. And then we'll add a script here. And our class was called user box. That should do it. Let's take a look. All right, so it looks like it took a little differently than what we expected. Let's call the container instead. So then it adds slider to all of the children of the container. And now we have a slick slider on the home page. We have one user, two user, three user, and more. So really easily, Laravel Blade helps us create segmented styles in JavaScript based purely on our scripts and styles stacks.